Greetings friends, welcome to Tricity Traveling. Today we're doing a glass bottom boat tour of uh, Honolulu or Waikiki area. So I've gone full Hawaiian today with my big hat. It's hot, so it should be delightful. So let's go see what we can see. Well, my friends, I'm going to interrupt today's regularly scheduled program to remind you to hit that subscribe button and the reminder bell and you'll be notified of all my future content. Thanks for that and back to our regularly scheduled program. Overboard. Someone's overboard. Um, this so what that means is you can only go number one in the bathroom, okay? <laughs> all right. That's pretty much it. Do you guys have any questions before we head out? No? Okay. If you guys want to walk around the vessel, you guys are good to go. I want you guys to step all right? And uh, the plan for today, we're going to be heading out of this channel. I'll be making a left towards uh, Waikiki, Diamond Inside. We'll enjoy the, uh, enjoy the inside uh, coastline uh, as we head to Waikiki. We'll make a pit stop at Turtle Canyons, see if we can find any of our turtle friends and fish friends that hang out over there. Magic Island, and as you see the waves crash into the wall like that, but on the other side, it's really flat. It's a lagoon, perfect spot to go uh, take your ohana, your family, and friends. Especially if you're not like the best swimmer, but you want to enjoy the beach, that's a good spot to go. They have uh, a lifeguard on duty watching over everybody from 8 in the morning to 4 p.m. Fresh water showers to rinse off once you jump to the salty ocean. Free parking if you have a rental car, you can park over there, don't have to worry about parking. And uh, the best part is they have public restrooms for a single number two. So, uh, yeah, right? Just what we needed. Talking about Magic Island, do you know why they call it Magic Island? They call it Magic Island because if you hang out at that park past 10 p.m., your wallet will disappear. Magic. So these turtles, uh, do you know what they're doing when they come up to the surface like this, everybody? Yeah. I heard someone say they're breathing. They're also doing another thing. They're actually warming up their bodies with the sun. It's because they're cold-blooded reptiles, like my story. Oh. <sighs> Ouch. everybody right so when you guys went to your hotel or when you guys checked into your hotel did they tell you what Waikiki means so uh, Waikiki it translates to expensive <laughs> I'm just kidding and then we got beautiful diamond head right in front of us and uh, it's kind of an iconic shot we would love to do something special for you guys if you guys want a picture with diamond head in the background with you and yourself in it or your own
just wrapped up the glass bottom boat. I'm um, having a lovely shave ice. I don't think it's that authentic shave ice, but it looks more snow cone fair, but it's super yummy because it's hot. Uh, the glass bottom boat experience is actually kind of a boat cruise and the boat just happens to have glass porthole things at the bottom. Not that that's bad. The guides were very entertaining. Uh, and a little cruise around Waikiki was lovely. So I would I would still recommend it. After your cruise, there's a little food truck area, so you can come down and get a snack. That's where I got my shave ice. It looks like something called the Elephant Truck. Tacos de something. <clears throat> Cacheton, um, frozen bananas, burgers and fries. This is Fuego, Puerto Rican flavor. And this guy down here smells like they're making glue a pig in their pork flavor for sure. So there's your food choices if you go for a food truck. Oh, and then there's the place, the Pineapple King, where I got my shave snow cone ice from. You know, it's uh, it's just after lunchtime. They don't seem to be open right now, but they're open for dinner that in mind but of course your experience can vary all right so thanks for watching today and happy trials everyone